this is I'm still in Nanta and I'm at one of the, the city center parks and there is a live concert tonight I'm here with one of the 60 plus black women ex tech Nona Nangalama Hi. I, I said it right that time didn't I? Nangalama I said it right I said yeah. Nangalama okay great I'm going to pan around so you guys can see this beautiful park in Manta downtown Manta and the concert is free lots of the entertainment here is free you can look over my shoulder and see all the vendors out tonight and this is Thanksgiving so we didn't do turkey but we're doing a live concert and I have heard one of the artists and he's fantastic so maybe I'll do a video of uh, once the performers start looking forward to meeting some of the other expats here tonight and so and this is the park so you have a lot of vendors out and the artwork is just beautiful and book fair so we'll walk along here for a little while as we head to I think there's a covering lots of the stuff is handmade stuff and I have a lot of it especially the jewelry some of it's very beautiful One of the things I like about Monte is very walkable. The parks and the beaches. And the food. Yum, that looks good. Buenas noches. And it's a beautiful night out. Clear. The only time we get rain is rainy season. So we literally go months without a drop of rain. And some people said back a couple of years there was no rain in the, there was no rain in like a year. I can't even imagine that. But there's a lot of moisture coming off the ocean, the Pacific Ocean. So of course it's still very green and beautiful. And our temperature stays between 73 and 88, so year round, which is one of the reasons why I'm here. I do like seasons. Oh, those are gorgeous. These are leather goods. I have to stay away from jewelry. It's my passion. Look. Look at that one. Oh, that's gorgeous. Wow. Very nice. Okay. And this is also my weakness food. I have snacks before I come so I can avoid all this temptation. Now, it may be. It looks like we've arrived where the concert is gonna be. So, and people are sitting on, can sit on the grass. It's gonna start in an hour. We wanted to get here a little early. And we can see people starting to gather behind here. Oh, a bench. Oh, wow. Good. That's going to be taken. <laughs> so, good thing we're here early. We get a bench. I'm going to walk around and film a little bit. So, we didn't have to go very far from the, where the taxi put us down the main street. If you can see the cars in the back. Another interesting thing, and this may be the case in several locations, but where they will sing in their native tongue and then also sing in perfect English and not speak English. <laughs> I found that very, very interesting. And here are some of the, uh, the artwork. This is my first time in this park. Uh, right across the street since this is like the Civic Center downtown area, I think, I think. Um, I've done business, um, some of the older, like my Wi-Fi company, they have an office in the mall, but when you're establishing uh, it, the contract in your name, you have to go to the main office. So a lot of the main, older main offices are across the street. You can see in the background one of the banks all the banks are down here as well as in the new mall so I'll show you some of the beautiful artwork this is a beautiful park so and over here of course our shipyard I'll show you that closer 
because Monta grew out of a tiny fishing village. Well, I say tiny. They are known for tuna. They ship tuna all around the world. And so I see a lot of uh, tankers come in uh, in foreign languages. How beautiful. And I saw this in one of the pictures, so I was especially interested in it. And it's a big book. <laughs> Manta Centenary. Centenaria. Honor, I guess in honor of Gloria. El Centenario de Manta es fiel testimony del, oh, I know I'm not trying to read Spanish. <laughs> it's beautiful though. That's what I call a big book. <laughs> and I get to see these type of birds take off from my balcony or go fishing. And they're fishing all along the seashore line and the big turtle so it's a city that appreciates the arts and lots of building here lots of construction I think there's a stadium going up that's what it looks like soccer is very big uh, I remember Ecuador pretty far uh, doing the uh, soccer tournament, world soccer tournament. And here is probably a snapshot of the park. What it's going to develop into would be that stadium in the foreground back there. That's what they're building now. And a lot of it already exists in terms of yeah, so here, here will be the stadium when it's finished. That's going to be quite lovely. For those who are wondering, do I still love Monta? Yes, I do. Because on Thanksgiving night, <laughs> you can come out. I can tell we feel absolutely no anxiety or trepidation about being out here by myself. I'm early because there will be other expats gathering for this concert. Uh, but Mona and I feel quite safe. Again, we're in a country where, you know, only the police have guns or maybe uh, citizens don't carry guns. So that, that's what I'm trying to say. Citizens, regular citizens don't carry guns. And that's what I like about Monta. And the fact that it's very clean and it's friendly and it's walkable, very walkable. And it's on the dollar. That doesn't hurt. I don't have to worry about um, perversion tables or whatever to a foreign currency. It is on the U.S. dollar. Uh, but they do not speak English. <laughs> you do have to... Brush up on your Spanish, and I am taking Spanish classes. Not faithfully, but now I'm committed. I, you know, when you first move, settling in, it takes a while. And I did two moves, because I first moved into uh, Ocean View, and I wasn't having that, because I wanted Ocean Front. I'm gonna show you what the moon looks like. Okay, that is right there. Oh, wonderful. You can see this park is all lit up because it's really a family-friendly town, city. Uh, you'll see a lot of bad families out at night. Uh, we're in gelato ice cream shops are like on every single corner. So they really like the ice cream and the uh, frozen yogurt and the bakeries. 
pastries. And being a big foodie that I am, <laughs> I could not live in a place where the food was not excellent. And the seasonings here, because those who travel foreign countries a lot, um, sometimes the seasonings, the food looks great, but the, our, we're used to a certain type of flavors and seasonings. And I gotta say that Manta is, is excellent in terms of the, the way they season, which is comparable to what I'm used to in Dallas, Texas. Lots of onion and garlic and parsley and thyme and sage and rosemary and I mean and they'll make the different homemade sauce. That is beautiful. That is just gorgeous. Take a picture of that. And then I'm gonna walk back and hopefully I'll be even larger enough for you to see the uh <laughs> tremendously <laughs> large shipping uh, fishing processing port that's what Manta is a port city okay so I've made it to the end of the park and all of this is water. You can hear the birds. I love the, the detail to the cleanness of the city. You know, the very, very clean city in terms of the public places. hope you can hear the birds <laughs> so all the way over there as far as you can see okay that would be city and then right there where you start to see pay, uh, spaces between the lights those would be part of the port and ship channel so those are actual ships that are docked and then there's a whole bunch of them over here And it goes on and on and on. <laughs> but that's how Mountain makes money. Sally. And the one thing they don't, that does it, is not in the ocean here, is crab. <laughs> there are no salmon. But every other, there's like six different types of redfish and sea bass and carvana. Car Corvina, a Corvina, and fish that are oh, look at the ocean. Fish that are native to this area and tuna, really big tuna, swordfish. Like I said, you'll see the family and the pet. Pets are welcome. This is a pet-friendly city. If you don't have one when you get here, you can certainly adopt one. I brought my own. Tyson is at home. Walked in before I came out. And so this this is what I love about Manta. That and the fact that there is a thriving and good sized black retirement age community, which was really important for me to have a community in my age group that I could hang out with, that I could go to breakfast with, and water aerobics, and concerts. And there are probably, oh, I guess six folks, six sisters. Hey, Dan. Hi. Hi, how are you? And so there's probably about six in the past week. There's been anywhere from six to eight, maybe even ten visitors um, and women who are part of 60 plus Black Women XX, which is this YouTube channel and the Facebook group. Of course, the YouTube channel uh, you can you don't have to be a 
black woman looking for a retirement area, but that's the focus of the conversation and finding places outside the U.S. that you can retire and where your retirement dollars can go significantly further and buy, buy you a lifestyle that you no longer can enjoy in the U.S. just living on retirement income. Monta is certainly a consideration. Ecuador is a consideration. Uh, there's Cuenca, which is more of a Renaissance city, and it's not uh, this. Monta is the coastal city, the one that's right on the water. And our capital is Quito. And I say our because, yes, I have my temporary residency, my two year temporary residency. I came prepared with my documentation and had an attorney waiting for me to start the processing. And as of May 23rd, I got my two-year residency. And with that two-year residency, because I'm over 65, I get all kinds of discounts on airfare, hotels. And um, one of the things really comparable to the, the Pensionata visa in Panama. Um, I don't know if Panama gives their seniors back 12, this 12, the sales tax. That's one of the things I have to look into, but that's one of the things that I thought was really, really beneficial and caring about a country is that if you're over 65, you have an ID like a cedula, it's called the cedula, C-E-D-U-L-A, cedula. And it's sort of like a social security card, but you show it everywhere you go. It's how you're identified as a resident. And with that, when you're purchasing goods and services, other than alcohol, <laughs> uh, you, you're charged a 12% sales tax. Well, for the seniors, well, showing that ID, what goes, that receipt is attached electronically to your account and on a monthly basis you can sign on pull up all the vendors and places you've shopped that have reported what portion of your that 12 percent and you get to have it direct deposited into a checking or savings account locally locally not out of the country you can't deposit it in a bank in the u.s but you can certainly deposit it in a local account and I have a savings account and that money goes in there and they will give you back up to a hundred and seven dollars a month so if you spend more than that the limit is a hundred and seven dollars a month which is more than enough to pay for your major medical by the government sort of like their equivalent of Med Medicare and so you go and sign up uh, for that and as a senior, mine is $74 a month. And it covers everything. There is no deductible. There is no out of pocket. It covers everything. <laughs> uh, seeing the doctor, getting the medication, being hospitalized, all of that. Not bad. And of course, I keep my A and B part of Social Security because the U.S. is my home. And I, I will be going back and forth visiting. Uh, I don't think I'll ever actually live in the U.S. Uh, I think this is my retirement, <laughs> uh, living abroad. And Monta is my first destination, not my last. And I am just about back to where the concert is going to start. So I'm going to sign out. Until next time, my name is Deborah Valerie. 60 plus black women expats Facebook group which is private and then the YouTube channel please like and subscribe and let me know if you want to know anything more about living abroad on your retirement <laughs>